Who's going to win the triple threat match between AJ Styles, LA Knight, Randy Orton? Who's going to win the finals of the U.S. title tournament? Kevin Owens or Santos Escobar? We got Meet Chin and EO Sky for the women's title. Butch has got to pick a partner to take on Pretty Deadly. Uh, Logan Paul is going to be there. Roman Reigns is going to be there. So champions will attend the show. Will they get involved in their matches that lead to the Royal Rumble match? We shall see. What I envision happening is, is I think Randy Orton is going to get the win. But I would have LA Knight not take the loss, no matter what. Just have him not take the loss. If Randy Orton does win, have AJ Styles take the loss. He's more of an established star. He can he can have the loss and not hurt him as much as LA Knight because LA Knight's a new rising star. They don't want to. They've already fed him to the Roman at the Crown Jewel event. They don't want to feed him to anyone here on SmackDown. So have AJ Styles take the loss if they're going to go with uh, Randy Orton as the victor. And uh, in the U.S. title match. Uh, I would have maybe Logan Paul get involved in Kevin Owens Santos Escobar match, maybe to that he wants Kevin Owens, so maybe help Owens win, and then people are wondering why did he do that? Well, he wants to face him, or just have him on commentary and Kevin Owens wins. And the story is he got through the tournament with his sore hand on his own, and he's the challenger that's fought through everything, and now he's ready to face Logan Paul at the Rumble. That's the story that I'm sure they're going with, and they, and that's probably a better story than Logan Paul getting interference. Because uh, that one's just... That one would make Logan Paul look like a badass, and I don't think that's what they want to do. They want to make him look more of a heel. All right, uh, so those are the two big ones. Uh, also, will The Rock uh, be mentioned at all? Will the comments The Rock made be mentioned? Will somebody mention them to Roman Reigns? If so, what will his reaction be? Will they plant seeds to a Roman Rock match? I've seen it on YouTube where a lot of people have kind of already confirmed that the, the match is going to take place. But I just say, hold up, not so fast. It probably will, but I remember Hulk Hogan on a promo uh, at Raw Homecoming talking about him and Stone Cold meeting at WrestleMania, and it never ended up happening. So he didn't say at WrestleMania, but he did. That's what we all thought. Uh, Hulk Hogan said, what would happen if Stone Cold met the, the, the Rattlesnake met the Hulkster? And the fans exploded and... And then it didn't end up happening. So there's a lot of things that can still happen. Especially with The Rock. The Rock schedule and everything. There's still a lot that could happen. But uh, do I want to see it happen? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? Well, now, yes. But uh, I, for, as it for being confirmed, I don't know. I think we have to watch and wait and see see what happens first. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they what they do with the title picture. With the whole Cody Rhodes thing with uh, CM Punk, with LA Knight, with all these names. How are they going to do it with The Rock? Uh, it should be intriguing WrestleMania season that we got coming up. And it starts at uh, day one, and we had a pretty decent day one, and now they have to follow it up with a decent New Year's revolution. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what rating it pops. But uh, enjoy the show, everyone. I'll be here for the review Friday night, as always, one hour after the show. Thank you so much to the subscribers on my channel. Uh, I'm having a great time doing the Monday Night Wars, and I'm blown away by the support I get for that. So thank you so much for that, and I'll see you here Friday night. Enjoy the show, everyone. See you here back for the review. I'm Brett Mix, and I'm out.